Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Rita's. Today, we celebrate Pentecost Sunday. All of us have been baptized into one and the same spirit and live by the same spirit, a gift given to us to remind us all what Jesus said and did and strengthen us to go forth in the name of the Lord to, rename, to renew the face of the earth. Today's mass intentions are for the eternal rest of Fidel Figueroa Sr. and for all of the living and deceased members of the Rosary Society. Let us welcome Father William Chopkong and Deacon Fabio Para. Welcome everybody, God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to, to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and peace to His people on earth. Glory to God in the highest and peace to His people on earth. We praise You, we bless You, we adore You.
By the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. Throughout, we pray the gift of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Fill now once more the heart of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostle. When the time came for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind. And it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Nigeria and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul. Oh, Lord, my God, you are great in Lord, the earth is full of 
dear creatures. Lord, send down your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away the breath, they perish and return to dust. When you Send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send down your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spirit, yes, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service for the same Lord. There are different workings for the same God who produce all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefits. As a body is one thought, it has many parts. All of the parts of the body, so many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we will all baptize into one body, whether Jews or Greek, slaves or freedom persons, and we all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Healer wounds are strengthened new, 
on a journey that's for you to wash the stains of guilt away. Let the stubborn heart and heal. Mother the frozen warm the chill, got the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore and confess you evermore, and your servant will keep the same. Give them virtue, sure reward. Give them your salvation, Lord. Give them joys that never end. Amen. Alleluia. According to John, glory to you, O Lord. And the evening of the last, at the that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear to of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has said to me, so I send you. And when he has said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, who sends you forgive or forgive them, and whose sins you retain are retaining. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we are celebrating the great feast of the Holy Spirit, Pentecost. The action of the Holy Spirit in us is evident through his gift and fruit. As you know, the fruit of the Holy Spirit are Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, generosity, gentleness, faithfulness, modesty, self-control, chastity. These are the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And the gift of the Holy Spirit are wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, pity, and fear of the Lord.
the gift of the Holy Spirit of wisdom is the ability to exercise good judgment. It distinguish between right and wrong, seeks and upholds truth and justice, and balances personal good with a common good. A person with wisdom is in touch with reality, demonstrates common sense and prudence. The second gift of the Holy Spirit is understanding. Understanding is the gift of intelligence and enlightenment. It is the ability to think clearly, to perceive, comprehend, and interpret information, and to have insight and discern the meaning. The gift of counsel is good advice. It is the ability to teach, inform, guide, direct, warm, admonish, recommend, and encourage. It is not limited to the gift of advice, but extends to the ability to graciously receive it. The gift of counsel is especially needed by parents, teachers, course, supervisors, mentors, therapists, lawyers, clergy, consultants, elders, and spouse, anyone who offers advice to, over, to others. The fruit of fortitude, the gift of the fortitude is necessary to live according to God's commandment. It's necessary for a proper force of action, and it shows as moral strength, courage, determination, and patient endurance. Knowledge. Knowledge is the ability to study and learn, re retain and master fact and information, and to put what is learned to good use for constructive purpose. Pity. Pity is personal holiness, and it includes devotion to God, prayer, virtue, goodness, decency, self-mastery, the avoidance of sin and obedience to God's will, and fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord is reverence and respect to God. It acknowledges that everything comes as a gift from God place personal achievement and self-sufficiency and gladly offers praise, worship, and adoration to God. The people who receive the gift of the Holy Spirit must cooperate with these special graces and put them to good use. The fail to do so would be like purchasing a new computer and leaving it in the box, or buying a new car and leaving it in the garage. Let us pray with confidence to God that he send the Holy Spirit in our hearts, in our minds. <clears throat> We praise you, O Holy Spirit. You are God in us because you are holy 
and we thank you for dwelling in our hearts. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being in us, in our mind and heart. Thank you for working in our lives. You guided us into salvation. Renew your presence in us. In this special day of Pentecost, come and be with us. Help us to see you more clearly, to recognize your movement in our lives. Holy Spirit, make us more sensitive to you so we can follow you more closely. We ask you for your help and comfort. Holy Spirit, help us to walk in you, O Spirit of God. Give us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, fulfillment, gentleness, generosity, modesty, self-control, chastity. O Holy Spirit, O Lord, our Father, send your Holy Spirit in us and help us to do everything according to your holy will. Give us wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, pity, and fear of the Lord. Lord, Bless us and protect us every day. Amen. Let us pray with the creed all together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and air. The only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten, non made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. The Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is a glory, is a Lord glorified, who has a prayer to the prophet. I believe one <coughs> holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Holy Spirit bids us to speak with confidence to God, who always responds with love. That those who preach the gospel be filled with the fire of the Holy Spirit a merciful love for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. That divide families, born in tribes, small states, and great nations set aside their differences and seek unity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. That all those who suffer language impairment may yet hear the word and be filled with the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear prayers. That the pain and spirit were concerned for the environment, bring new life and careful stewardship to all in the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. That this community experience a renewed thirst for the word of God and come to drink deeply from the rivers of living waters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. For the soul of Fidel Figueroa and for the living deceased members of the Rosary Sorcery, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God of, Lord, of glory, you touch each heart by the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant what we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden the mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit as the church came to birth, opened to all people the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers 
with the angelic host. Sings together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy and to be glorified O God who love the, the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life blessed indeed is your son present in our midst when we are gathered by his, his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth the Holy Spirit to sanctify this gift of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you things, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the, of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and granted. By the, the power of the Holy Spirit, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, 
give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the church, looking into the sign of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the, of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all that share in their grief and pain, their joy and hope. We may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your, of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known, admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our early pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As a serious good man, for by the right teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gradually grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, and we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and gradually grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with the spirit. spirit, give it his other signs of peace. Peace with you, Father.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word that my son speaks. May the body and blood of Christ be no of life in life.
have tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence lord holy spirit you are welcome here comfort this place and fill the atmosphere your glory Let us pray. O oh God, who bestowed the heavenly gift upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit throughout upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord they be with you. And with the Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Eucharist end, we can go in peace and love to serve God. Thank God. Be to God. Hail Mary, full of, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be. A world without end. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord 